Welcome back everyone to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So today you done is the good, day. Girl. Well, it's another day. <laughs> We're going back to camp. We've done everything we could in chapter 2. Maybe not everything, but most of the things we wanted to do. So now we're going to see Dutch and start a new mission. I think, so we got the, the book for Jack, right? But I don't think we can give it to him right now. We'll have to wait until chapter three, but I'm not too sure. Is there something that says, is the trophies? There's a trophy that says like a camp request need to be done in each camp, like a companion request. And um, yeah, we haven't done one in this one, believe it or not. We haven't spent that much time at camp. Why am I doing it? Going in the right direction. Yeah. Straight ahead. It should be good. If we go that way, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can see Jack by himself. If we can see him, we might be able to... Yeah, because they started to pack, right? So I don't want to see Dutch right away. Oh, hey! Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, thank you, Ravia. Bill. Good morning, oh, Jack is there. So let's see if I can give it to him right away. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? Can't I give it to him? No. Let's have a look quickly. Yeah, I do have one though. I don't remember how it pops up. Okay, I'll catch yeah, you later. There's then. no. Let me know if you find candy. There's no option. No, I that's can a shame. Smell you. Stinky. Well, you stink too, Jack. Jesus, kids these days. So let's go talk to Dutch. We keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. <laughs> Micah told me of a place we can lie low. I did not remember Look that. Look here. Time. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we going to do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Yeah, classic. We still can't run. Okay, my girl. Right to the very creek. We can do that. We know where it is. It's Charles coming. Yeah. Can we take so a shortcut? So where are we going? Up? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. 
And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And yeah. there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Which we are. You don't oh, have sure to tell me. Yeah. Hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Let's have a look around. Yeah, I don't know right. why they said the word creek left. But I know it's my car. I then. see something over there. You see it? That's not the right one. I should have put it in my locker. Someone on the ground there. Oh, that's not good. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Why does some odd stroll need to be real quick? Mm. There's a that. camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles. All right, Han Solo. Shoot first. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. So we have what? Some corn? Tan veggies? Such a look. Let's have a look at this tent. Nothing much here. It looks like there were a lot of people though. Some more canned food, those are beans. Where is everybody? Some cartridge. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. There we go. What do we have here? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? He should have shot no first. Right. If I was that lady, I could just say shoot first, be back later. He said, "Are you okay?" Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Here we go. Thank you, Charles. The girl was pointing this way. For taking us Let's back see if we can pick up a trail. Right foot path. I see a trail just ahead. That's it. Come on, let's go. So let's get ready for some shootout, sprint field, and then cast a yeah, What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? Arthur. We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Yeah, try to that. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Going left. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. So like you were saying before, we should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, 
That kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most so of the rest of us had growing up. Way. That the redemption art for Archer kind of taught a certain part of it where you decide, oh, am I going to be John good? said he was going that back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. Bad, like, He'd be a damn idiot dog. going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was re- Hold up. Let me check this. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. He did? And we was... Family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Hey. Seems deserted. That's where I was take a look. realize that at the end, still like strong. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. True that. There he is. How does he sound German? Cut him free. Even Let's more free. Let's start him free. Here we go. Boom. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Why is Charles going in the open? Here we go. Is there more? That's done dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. That there would be more of them, though. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Return the settler to his family. All right, all right. Come on, buddy. So back to what you were saying. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Yeah. I should have put it on voice. No. Too late. Too late. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. It's so like when you start learning a new language, at the beginning it all sounds great. It's just like sounds that don't make any sense at all. It's like if I listen to German all right now, just have uh, no idea. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Oh, they put up everything. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. 
Ja, ja. großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja. Vamos. Shoot on that birds. Ich hab Vamos. Was zu sehen. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. I thought we could refuse it. We were not prompt for that. Why well, mistake? We take it, but we don't need the money. I feel they need more of it than we need it. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'd be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Yes. I like that the cutscenes remind us that Arthur is smoking. Because I'll never let him smoke. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Clement's point. That's where we are. Here we go. Chapter 3. It's always a bit sad living or Shovelok. I don't know. We spent so much time there. It's home. The other camps, they're alright, but it's not the same. Golden God. Oh, only silver. Oh, let's have a look. What? See that sometime? Uh, I think it's story. No. Progress. Story. Yeah. Chapter 2. I wanted to see the last one. Yeah, we need to redo some mission to get some gold. Strange kindness. The gold checklist. Return the captive to his family within 1 minute 40 seconds. Well. If I had known, if I had known. So welcome everyone to chapter three. Let's see what's going on. Look at the number of icons in spot. What is that? Oh, that's Jack. Now we can give it to him. Give request. I want Why to. Why are you but... so close, Uncle Arthur? Because I tried to give you something. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted. You think you're funny? What? That didn't go as expected, but we got a chocolate bar. The interaction didn't pop in. Just saying, sometimes that game is just... Morning, Arthur. Morning. So we can contribute to the ledger a bit, because we can buy, I think, some boats. Give money. Increase amount. Yeah, because we have a, a dock at Clement's point, so we can give some money. I don't remember how much it costs. Yeah, 500. Should be alright. Boom. Thank you, a bit of honor. Ledger. Cash. Yeah. We need to replenish that. Maybe. We'll do it anyway, just in case. For the good people at camp. Yeah, about 360. 360 is not too bad. Do we really need it? Probably not. Will we use it? I'd say no. But... But, you know, we have money and we're just spending it. That's all. So, we bought everything. We're good to go. So there's nothing else we can so the same camp as Osho Overlook, but in that campsite. So you have the table, you have all the warden, you have the camps too. You have our friend that is looking at us, person over there. So let's start to Dutch and see what's up. We could have a look Arthur? at the map though. I don't think we have any other 
Den Blues Tower. How you doing, old friend? <lacht> Fine. It's funny. Was in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Oh, we're doing fishing. Where's Jose? Oh, I see him. Over there. Dutch is not going to see anything. He's just walking. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, old here girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on then. The three OGs. Well, the two OGs and us. I don't know who can first have the Hosea. Yeah, and okay. Dutch. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It go. feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. I'm looking next. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere again. where nobody will find us. But we Gosh, don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil fair. and the rocks. See what turns up. Wasn't the our fault. We have got to be discreet. Imagine what a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. That's it our looks cars. like law yeah, up there's ahead. Over there. Play it cool. Oh, well, well, well. What do we have here? Hold! Hello, gentlemen. Well, Look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Okay. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. 
but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! <laughs> well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what uh... I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Yeah, we go. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish. Would be better by yourself. Let's go after that train. Yeah. Do not shoot them. You hear me? What do you come think on, we're doing, hurry. Archibald? All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. I'm slipping. Yeah, we'll Master, go. come on. Well, What's we're your doing name, sir? Can. Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Callahan. Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Somebody pull me up. Whoa. Oh, looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Would be Did I not say shooter. that? You said plenty. Goddamn power's hot behind that bad. That must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with oh, that train. Oh, forgot about this one. The train is slowing down so to go through the station. Now's our chance. So see good. if you can get alongside the train. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Now we can explore it. Oh, come on. Stick to the side of the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Oh, Here we go. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Watch out, he's throwing bombs at us. <sighs> you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Oh. Whoa. God. That was a kick in the face. We should have seen that one coming though. Uh, I will have to fight. I don't remember to fight. I don't remember how to block. Oh boy. Not sure it's gonna be nice. Come on, shit bag! What what did you say? Did you call me shit bag? Come on, Arthur. Yeah, do that actually. It's just us then, lawman. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. There's a knife though. Do it. You one hit Just don't kill him. Are you sure? Sadly so. I don't think I can open the door. Here we go. I think he's dead. Can we open the door? I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Oh, we need to pick him up. We did pretty good. He slashed us though. But then we had a good grappling. Thanks for nothing, Archibald. Bring him out here. Deputy. Just Sounds open the door, mate. Commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. What's that horse? And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. American Load Anders onto the, the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Oh, uh, to my horse. There you go. You are a natural. All right, uh, let's take him in. Follow natural me. To do your job. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I I'd know. hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. 
My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. We kind of know Ain't it's what it was up. before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Whoa. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there Welcome on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Reputable. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? That I'm doing the hard work here. Just that Archibald isn't doing shit. Hey, fellas. There it is. Anyway. Mr. Gray! Yeah, Dutch. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free justice. to go. <laughs> no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, mostly we're just good. honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow we on the straight and team. narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Fair enough. Thank you, Fair enough. gentlemen. Trelawney. Archer is large. Here okay. comes trouble. So again. these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Yeah, we'll go fishing. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Excitement is kind of following us everywhere. If we're honest. Look at that guy. Look at him on the porch. Good boys and girls. All right, gentlemen, follow yeah, me. Following you, Jose. 
Yeah, we need to get rid of that bed. It's too warm. For so how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch. We Pickle just finished the survival It's a good spot. We could we'll see if you're as good at catching catch. fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Diversion. Trelawney's like learning. a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, That's true. remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible the way Dutch imitates Trilani. It's pretty good. Whoa, that was a tight squeeze. Uh oh, Dutch. Are you alright? He's gonna come and follow us. We need to follow him. Down to the left there. <laughs> we just left Dutch. Oh, we're so bad. We didn't lose any other. That's alright. He's gonna find us. This is gonna be a cutscene or something. And, oh no, see? He's speeding yeah. up. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. No real, we just bought yes, over a there boat that can, but hold. hold. Alright, Dutchy boy. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Except the owner of the boat, maybe? All right. This, one, yeah. this looks like a fine vessel. Okay. <coughs> Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to Do be you? some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy uh... picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck. That's some good kind of fish right there. Well, what about stupid luck? Good fish. That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Here we go. That is a good water. We're going pretty fast. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a... Lake lure. Virgin. Strong with a good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but... You'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. I love how they still teach you how to fish. So I wonder, 
I never skip that part of it, Arthur. of the mission. So I'll always go fishing. So I wonder, like, what's the difference? Oh, if it's skippable. I don't remember it being part of like the middle or something. If it's part of the middle, then you have to do it, kind of. Looks like a bit fish. I'd say rock bass. I got Maybe. A it's not a sturgeon. Oh, I lost him. Hey. Look at this beauty. There you go. Small well big done, map. Arthur. They can grow Lock a lot map. bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. There he is. Hey, Jose. That's all we have time. Yeah. We sent Arthur out fishing. He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week... Oh, trout. Arthur and I are at the market. And Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. True that. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. One day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Another then trot. he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Something's nibbling. There we go. Shit. Got so I don't away. know when we stop fishing. Remember though. those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? Uh, could we be saw when we did the horseman challenge too. They got us too. Life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I, I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, and hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Got one. So I think that's the last story. So after that fish, if we get one, we can go back. There's no prompt telling you you're done or not done. Arthur's got a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. Yeah, I will, I will. So far, I've been pretty good. Better than you two boys. And the fishing. What is it, another trout? Yeah. Nicely done, Arthur. A small one. I thought Ozia would tell us. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. No, I won't. So unequip the road. 
Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? Good. You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Already? All I'm right. In. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? I They'll just bought a back. boat. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, here we go. I like that song. All right, I got one for you. For the second I one. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Mariners. Three mariners. Ah, of course. We well, need to slow down. We need three, four mariners to we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And here is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round, 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 round. round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, round, round. To them we dance this round, round, round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! People from camp must be mad. What is happening to them? Yeah. <laughs> See, we bought a boat, now we got a second one. For free though. I like how Jose said, oh, nobody will mind if we borrow the boat. And at the end he's like, yeah. <laughs> it's ours All now. right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. It's some drunk, Dutchy boy. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. And here we go. Oh, only silver. I think I heard a yeah, I think I know why. Not out and does understand we done taking a hit. Yeah, that's the one. To gel within five minutes early, catch a fish with the... Oh, see, you need to go fishing then to get the gold. Good to know. Well, that's a long mission though to redo. To get the gold. I'll do it off camera, but that's a long one. So we have new mission open. Let's have a quick look at the map. So we have the Pearson one, Leopold Strauss. So more money lending. Pearson, I don't remember which one it is. So now what he's starting to do. It's, uh, it says it's Pearson, but it's not going to be a mission with Pearson. You know, that game is being tricky a bit. I don't think we have... Oh, yeah, we have a mission with the Grays over there. And now you can see all the white area. We can't use our weapons. Because Dutch said no. And we need to do what Dutch want us to do. Oh, we have a certain host to attend. We need to sell that. So that's what we're going to do in next episode. 
This one was a bit of a longer mission. Where are you, Uncle? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. Of course. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. We don't have a heart. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.